Hey guys, what's up? It's Trent with the Bully Barn. Part two, guys, part two. I told you guys I would give you a couple examples here. All right. Now, this is talking about the shoulder set in relation with the uh, upper arm, which is red, and then the shoulder, which is the scapula, which is just white here. Okay. You can just see the shoulder bone on all these pictures. And then you can see the uh, upper arm is red and all these pictures. And I'm going to give you guys a few different examples. I wanted to do a correct one again, just to let you guys know what correct looks like. Okay. So we're going to go over the correct one first. All right. Now, before I do this, I want you guys to know what four chest is. Okay. Four chest is this area right here. It's chest that sticks out past the front, you know, past this, past the front leg here. It's all this chest that sticks out, okay? And to tell if you have nice four chest on a dog, you take and draw a plumb line just like this, but you do it at the point of the shoulder, right here where the shoulder meets the upper arm. And you draw it straight down all the way to the ground. If you've got distance between here, between the front leg and your plumb line that's perpendicular to the ground, that means you've got adequate or sufficient, I guess you could say four chest, good four chest. Okay. Um, moderate neck length. Okay. Th this first off, let's go over the shoulder set. Very, very nice shoulder set. Almost perfect. Okay. If you had a 90 degree angle here, give myself enough room, 45 degree angle up through the shoulder. Okay. If you drew the plumb line, like I did here. Okay. I'm trying to erase that one real quick, okay? If you draw this plumb line that comes down here in the front, uh, down the point of the shoulder right here, where the shoulder meets the upper arm, okay? From here to here, okay? Should be about the same distance than here to here. Well, same distance meaning in angles. So this angle right here is a 45 degree angle. This angle right here is a 45 degree angle, okay? And then again, the shoulder and the upper arm should make a 90 degree angle. The middle of the shoulder and then, and then through the upper arm should make to the point of the elbow, okay? That should make a 90 degree angle right here, 90 degrees, okay? And this should almost make a perfect triangle with your plumb line that comes down, okay? Now, that is going to create nice moderate neck length because of the beautiful layback of the shoulder, okay? Um, the shoulder blade, like I just said, is well laid back, okay? Equal length of shoulder blade and upper arm, which means the shoulder blade is the same length as the upper arm, okay? So you don't have a short upper arm or a short shoulder blade, Okay, and then the shoulder and elbow align with the plumb line. This is the plumb line, okay? Now that is what a correct front assembly shoulder set and shoulder layback look like. All right, so up here we have one that's faulty. Okay, now we can tell right now that this dog, if you draw a plumb line right here, lacks four chest. And there's not much at all, it doesn't have any. Okay, so lacks four chest. <clears throat> the neck is short and carried forward. You see how short the neck is? It's short and carried forward. It's not moderate in length like this other one over here. And a lot of that is caused by the shoulder and the upper arm are set too steep. You know, this is very steep and this is very steep. And then the shoulder and upper arm are also both short in length, okay? And the plumb line is good, okay? The plumb line looks good if you draw a line through it, okay? It looks good, but both are too steep, too upright, okay? And that's a faulty, faulty shoulder set in front assembly <coughs> of the shoulders. Okay, now we'll go to the last one, but not least, okay? This one here lacks four chest. Again, if you drew a plumb line, that's terrible. I mean, that's almost touching the front foot, okay? The neck is carried slightly higher to compensate, okay? 
the shoulder seems well laid back. It looks like it's a nice 45 degree angle, correct? Right? It looked, well, I'll draw it better so you guys can see it. Okay. It looks like it's a nice 45 degree angle right there. Okay, but the reason why it looks like that is because the upper arm is very short and very steep. So it pushes the shoulder blade. It pushes the shoulder blade like this because this is really short and very steep. Okay, so the shoulder is short and set steep as well. The elbow is not in line with the plumb line either. Okay, that's just a, this is just a few examples. So if you draw the plumb line here down this one, okay, from the shoulder down, look at the distance there, you know, and then come over here and look at the correct one, which I've drew all over these guys. But I'm just showing you a few different examples of bad shoulder sets and uh, a well, basically it boils down to a well laid back shoulder is it equals shock absorption, okay? And that means that that dog is going to move effortlessly and the feet, when in movement, the feet are gonna just come up off the ground just, just enough to clear the ground and move real smooth and step lightly, okay? And that dog's gonna have effortless movement, okay? And they say the more laid back the shoulder is, the more shock absorption that the dog has, okay? Now, if you have a steep shoulder layback and shoulder set, like some of these here that we've got going on, okay? You're gonna have a very choppy movement, okay? It's gonna be, you're gonna see a lot of wear and tear on the dog. It's gonna wear and tear that dog down. It's gonna be very choppy. The dog's gonna bounce up and down. And then chances are, if you've got poor reach, okay? The dog has no reach at all, okay? Short choppy steps, bouncing at the withers. So when the dog is in movement, moving sideways, it's going to not stay beautiful on a nice flat plane while he moves in movement, it's gonna bounce and be choppy, okay? And then <coughs> lax forechest, if there's a lot of wrinkling of the skin at the top of the withers, which is right up here, guys, okay? If there's a, if there's a bunch of wrinkles right up here at the top of the withers, okay? No. That's a sure sign as well that you've got a bad shoulder set and a uh, bad uh, upper arm or scapula. The, the relation between the scapula the scapula and the upper arm and the layback of it is all messed up. If you've got a lot of these and a really short neck, that's a sure sign as well. So, like I said, point of the video is you see what's correct, okay? You see what's faulty. You can do this with your own dogs, draw your plumb lines, check these angles, okay? But like I said, a well laid back shoulder is going to absorb shock. It's going to move very well and very effortlessly. And then a dog with a steep shoulder set is going to be very choppy and very, very aggressive in movement. Like a bulldog, for instance. Bulldogs have a very choppy, messy, sloppy movement. Not very smooth. Okay, guys, that's part two of this video. Part three of, the, uh, part three of this, I'm going to probably put up a picture of Buckus, which is dual grand champion Buckus. He's my dog. Um, and I'm going to show you guys how I draw my plumb lines and break him down in the front end. And then I'm going to show you how I break down a dog that is more flawed in the front end as well. And I can tell you guys what that dog lacks and why that dog is the way he is. Okay. You guys have a good one. Part three is coming. Do not forget, if you need to hit me up, my phone number is 405-568-6846. Don't forget to like, subscribe. You can follow me on Instagram as well at bully.barn. You guys have a good one. Part three is coming.